What can you get for $2? Well, quite a lot actually. You can get a Snickers, you can get a Powerade, or you can get a copy of Just Dance for the Wii, or even a copy of Big Mother Truckers 2, Truck Me Harder. Or you could get yourself a dusty old PC that could possibly play League of Legends. This PC right beside me here, we picked it up in one of 15 PCs that we got for $30. I'll put the video up here if you haven't seen it already, but essentially this one had a graphics card and a hard drive and it's dirty and old. So we're gonna give it some tech yes loving, that is just clean it up and then boot it up, install Windows unactivated and then see if it indeed will be able to play League of Legends. Let's go on this journey. So we're gonna pull this PC apart now. We've got our trusty data vac on top, some alcohol wipes if we need to clean off the dirt, and to give it a new look shine, we've got some water dispersant. So, let's make it brand new. Please take yes, give me more. Get that wipe, clamp it in tight, so I'm gonna take you on a journey. Turn me around, but don't flip me upside down. Cause you don't do that to a two dollar coin, unless your name's Don Boy. You heard my bites in the RX 590 review, but you wanted more. Count to five, just skip the two, three, four. WD-40 and thermal paste. What? Yeah, Tech Yes just took you to a new place. What? A new place. So we finished cleaning up all the parts here and the scariest one was probably the Gravis car which had hard thermal paste on it and it's really important to change this over because now our Gravis card won't overheat and it'll run fine with this computer. But we've also managed to pull out from another build an E5400 Pentium dual core. So we're gonna put that inside here because that'll allow us to have a higher clock speed and essentially get more FPS in League of Legends providing the Gravis card is not holding the build back. But we've also still got to clean up the PC case to make everything look as good as possible. So here we are now, we're trying to get it to boot and it just keeps giving us uh, problem after problem. We've tried a hard drive and pre-installing an IDE Windows on it doesn't work. Because this BIOS only has IDE and RAID mode, uh, but the problem is it just won't even boot, it won't even recognize the uh, boot itself. So this is troublesome because it was all ready to go, it was looking good, but thankfully we have a ton of other PCs here. So we're gonna find a motherboard that can actually boot and we'll transplant that into this case because I really want to see how I play League of Legends. So we've now got this thing booted up on the original hard drive that we were using and the original graphics card. So it looks like it was indeed that motherboard and stuff like that, that can happen because of maybe bit rot or just age in general. And we'll talk about that later in the conclusion. But here we are here, we've got League of Legends it's finally installing, and I just can't wait to boot it up and see if our $2 PC kind of <laughs> is 
probably not two dollars now but uh, since we are using different parts but So now we've finally got this game installed, but there's just one big problem, and that's the game won't even load. Like, I've been stuck here on this screen uh, for probably almost 10 minutes now, so I, I feel really sorry for my teammates here. Uh, even on the right, Revolver, he was like loading up a lot slower than the others were, but I was seriously beating him by a long shot, so uh, I'm going to try and get a, a game of this booted up. Then we can see how much FPS we're getting in the game. But other than that, like $2, what are you doing to me? Alright, so we've got it loaded up here, and this is just so bad. It's probably, I'd have to guess, like 5 FPS or something like that. It's ridiculous. So, I'm guessing it could be the graphics card, since it was going from like 1 FPS to 5, once we dropped it from medium settings to high settings. Now, I've got one of these sitting around. It's one of the uh, graphics cards someone just threw in in the past. So, as a last resort, I'm going to try this card out. And if all else fails, then I'm just going to take this thing out back along with the other two PCs that didn't work properly and just start feeding them. So we put in the Quadro and the exact same thing's happening. The FPS is just super low. We've even tried putting in 6 gigabytes of RAM, tried different sticks of memory, everything. And the uh, NVIDIA K400 Quadro, that should be more than capable of running this game, at least at 720p, 60fps. So, at this stage, I'm done. Let's move over to a conclusion with this. It's just been such a frustrating day. So with that little interlude aside, I managed to salvage all the parts out of the builds, the screws, the SATA cables, the power supplies, also the CPUs. As for the main boards, they're really old and that's the problem with LGA775 itself. If you're going to go with this architecture, make sure you get something like a ASUS P5Q or something that shouldn't have many compatibility problems, it shouldn't have any boot issues, and it should be able to take 8GB of DDR2 and a newer quad core. You should be able to get decent performance even in 2018 out of a build like that. Uh, but the builds we had here today just wouldn't accept newer CPUs. Uh, we tried out a 2006 Core 2 Duo on the first build and that wouldn't even boot even with its original CPU. And then we went over to the next build and that was the exact same motherboard and setup as the first build and that managed to boot this time around and uh, we decided to put in 6 gigabytes of RAM this time just to let the game boot up and see if it would work. And so we got into Windows and it only recognized 3.25 gigabytes of DDR2. And now I tried everything on these first two builds, tried clearing the CMOS, tried a new CMOS battery, uh, tried different CPUs, different memory, and it just ended up on the second build. It just wouldn't get past the load screen and we got stuck at 100%. And also apologize to the four other dudes out there who I left out in the dark. Sorry about that. And after this, I decided we'll give it one more try. I want to get League of Legends working on one of these old potatoes. And so at this point in time, I think the build tallies up to $6. And uh, we've put in the graphics card. And this time around, everything's working. Six gigabytes of DDR2 is being recognized. Uh, the problem was in this build, it would only accept a 2005 Core 2 Duo. We tried the one from 2006, which had the higher clock speeds. And uh, it got into the game 
and we got from literally from one to five FPS, depending on the settings. And now we had it on low spec mode. Windows was completely optimized. Six gigabytes of DDR2 was being recognized and we had on the absolute lowest settings and we we're getting like five FPS. And then we tried, I said, okay, maybe it's the graphics card. Tried something else and it was still doing the exact same thing. And it's just so frustrating. This is why I generally don't like to touch the older stuff where things should technically work, but they don't. As opposed to the original $5 League of Legends PC, this one today clearly failed. The original one was so good. I really enjoyed that. We actually got a smooth playable experience out of it, uh, at least on League of Legends. And uh, this one today, we just completely failed. We wouldn't even play League of Legends. I mean, it might be able to play uh, Solitaire or something like that, but I don't think many people are in the market for a Solitaire gaming PC. But with all that aside, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then be sure to hit that like button. Also, let us know in the comments section below what is the most frustrating experience you've had with tech. Love reading your thoughts and opinions as always. And also let us know what you think of the $2 PC. I mean, the concept was good. The build looked awesome. I gave it a lot of tech, yes, loving. But in the end, it just didn't work out. And yeah, don't ask me in the future to touch LGA 775. I'm kind of, I just, I'm done with it because even the first gen i series, it, I just never get anywhere near the amount of problems that I do with LGA 775. So I'm not doing this to myself anymore. Uh, maybe a P5Q or something like that, maybe. But other than that, I'll catch you in another tech video very soon. Peace out for now, bye. And looking back in hindsight, I much prefer the Snickers, the Powerade, Big Mother Truckers, or We Dance over this $2 PC here today, unfortunately.